Alright, everybody, welcome back to Dredge the Iron Man DLC. Make sure to like, subscribe, and most importantly, go follow me at Rumble. As we continue to try to find all these darn fish. So, let's go look for them. So, we, we're catching one fish currently, so you can cross that one off the list. First, we need to go to Twisted Strand and look at how many fish we need. Okay, so the advanced rod, shallow, mangrove, 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 yeah. And then let's look over here at our pursuits. Here it is. Click samples, this, that, that, and that. Yeah, those are the four things you need. So four things here. We're using actually not the siphoner, but instead... We are using a, um, dredging. So instead of siphoning this oil, we're dredging for it. Because if I wanted to, I could just sleep and pay for it. Just go to sleep, wait for the shops to restock, and then pay for it. Alright. So we got this one here, now I'm gonna guess, why did it switch to banished? That was an accident, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, we got this. Now is this what we're supposed to get? Yeah, both of these are mangroves. So this one says a long bony snout helps to root out prey. And the substance and thick head shield provides a strong defense when attacked. These huge fish have exceptionally strong scales, composed of layers of minerals and fibers. They have to brief surface air to survive in the sluggish waters. Alright, that's two out of three. Now this actually is shallow. We don't actually have the right um, equipment for this. So this is... Since we don't know what this is, let me real quick sail away. Yeah, we don't need that one or that one. No. Nope. None of these. Looks like we're going to venture deeper into the... Twisted Strands, which is my least favorite place because it's just so confusing where you're supposed to be going and where you are in the map. Let's look for more oil around here. It's also really easy to hit these trees. Where it's actually a benefit to go slower here, but I do not have to worry about the monsters because I killed them all. Wait, are we back where we started? No. So it appears around all of these. Okay, so here it is and it does cost shallow. Um, so it is a little unfortunate we do not currently have that. What was that noise? Weird. So now if we go to the map... Yeah, it's marked on the map. So now what we need to do is we need to get out of here and go equip the shallow fishing rod, and then we'll have three of the four fish you're supposed to get. Again, the moment you catch a uh, single aberration. The aberration becomes a hundred times more likely you find it in. What do we get in our net here? Lumber. Not exactly the most useful, I would prefer something else, but... Oh well. Alright, did we find... Yes, we did. Alright, a twisted shell houses this small creature of eyes and tentacles flowing from the openings. Flailing, not flowing. Let's probably buy some ice, I think, here, because let, let me check how close these fish to spoiling. Not too far away from spoiling, I'd say. So let's just buy a small bit of ice. It's only $21. That's 21, that's like. Yeah, it's $21. And this one's 42. It's because I have silver tongued. I mean, I can buy things for cheaper. We don't want this, we want infused rod. Meaning, right here. Install the infused hoist there. The reason I wanted the, um, ice was because installing those would take a while, and I'd rather not have these expire. So, one more fish to get, which I know where it is, and then we're just done with this region as a whole. Because it's very small. This region's very small. But it's insanely difficult to get around. Because these vines are up, I think, only certain times of the day. 
Yeah, I never did get chased by these creatures, not even once. I just blew them up and avoided them by just not moving. I was like blind or something. Uh, I don't think I'm going the right way. Uh, I can get in from over here. Ouch. That's fine, we don't need that one. Oh, and okay, so you can still do it if the equipment's broken. You just can't press any buttons. That's actually really interesting. Alright, now, where is... There it is. This is coastal, it's right here. We even get a trophy version, let's get another one real quick. I do wish they added another type of fishing, because I, I, the Pale Reach didn't do that. The Pale Reach did not add another type of fishing, it was just the same fishing as before. But, um, yeah, this one did. This had a new type of fishing. Only one new type of fishing, though. A little unfortunate. But it's still a new type of fishing, nonetheless. Yep, Darkus gathers on your vessel. Alright. Well, then, let's... Okay, I think these have a higher spawn rate than normal fish. Because I'm getting these more often than I'm getting normal fish. Alright. We sell back, and that's literally should just be everything. Let me check what's in the net. Okay, so we have everything but metal needed to craft the... What's it called? Yeah, we, we do have to float some traffic stellar basin. Uh, to upgrade everything, which I'm probably going to do last, even though it'd be easier to do it now. I can't upgrade the hull to have everything leveled up. Which is a little annoying. It just costs too much to do. I'd spend an entire two episodes just gathering materials. Science lab, submit samples, the fish, and twisted strands. Do you have them? So this is not the fish you wanted. You wanted a different fish. Yeah, that one does not count. That's, that's strange, there's, there's extra fish, but we can't use them. Weird. All right. Toss them in the generator. Alright, so there's one more fish we need to capture in there. Uh, did we get metal? Yes, we did. So now we have the ingredients to craft another box. As it's just every ingredient once. But we're not going to craft another box as we don't need to. What I'm simply going to do is just constantly have this trap ready. This metal harvester, material harvester. To get all the materials we need. Yeah, so we're going to need a lot of them. And it will just help just driving around the area and just getting the stuff. I don't even need to put it in storage because it's such a large storage area. I mean, it's sort of acts as storage. But I do want to repair it. Alright, so there's one more fish left. So it does out of one, I think, one extra fish for each area that you don't actually need to use. As you see here, I have a ton of stuff just from all this. Alright. So we can catch everything except for Volcanic. So we can just sail into here and head a random direction and find it. I say it's... This way. Uh, the ship stopped moving. Oh, I must have clicked on the recording software. Also, hitting these mushrooms does no damage to your boat. Really nice to know when you're just sailing through this area. When you quickly stop, you can just hit a mushroom. Uh, I feel like there isn't any oil over here. Yeah, this is just a way out. Pretty sure there's a way in over here. Oh, there's also some oil over here, which probably contains the fish we need, which is probably like oceanic or something. No, that's not it. There it is. Dead ahead. Mangrove. It's hard to get some of these before you go all the way through. Alright. Uh, resembles a gigantic fang typhoon. This prehistoric predator is known to eat prey the size of human whole. It's only 4.97 meters. How long is 4.97 meters? I don't know. I'm not British. Nor do I actually remember how long a foot is. You can tell me how tall this thing is, and I'd be like, I don't know. I'm like five foot six. 
I actually think I'm taller than that. I'm almost six feet tall. It's always the best engine that gets destroyed. All right, science lab. Here's your last one, Mr. Scientist. With the corporation's leadership here, I have to focus. There are pressures acting upon me. We must know where these creatures entered. Where the blood? Place the specimen into a large metal chamber before sealing the lid. A monitor runs briefly and a pe pressure gauge on the chamber rises. The elder communicates some power. Flips a large switch and the metal chamber begins to spin, slowly at first, then accumulating until the whole thing is a blur. Needles etch into graph paper, transmitting an ancient of something. An, a, a, an accent of something? Stretch out a spread of dark fluid rice from the tube connected to this chamber. Not yet pure. We need more. Down. Deeper. Outside the executive is talking with the foreman. We're almost there. Give it another push. How much power can we give this thing? Sir, I don't think we really should. The executive shoots the foreman a glance and dismisses. Like in the muscles on his face as the foreman breaks down, defeated. Oh. Setting the drill to full power, sir. Machinery in the drill's tower st steps into overdrive, blurring the air with the sound of gears turning. What's that noise? It's Leviathan. He lurks in the deep. I wonder why the Leviathan's there. That's supposed to happen, or is that just a complete accident? And did he just spawn there and try to murder me, but he couldn't? No, it's supposed to be there. As the roars of a giant creature fade, it leaves behind a silence and all witnessed. Faces stare from windows and hands gripping rails trying to process the spectacle. Boss, this mustn't have been the thing that got all the material shipments and now it's coming for the rig. A murmur of panic begins to arrive from the onlookers. No, we're close now and it knows it. How long for this drill to break through to the next layer? Uh, still has a little way to go, but you can't be serious, surely. But that thing in the water, our lives are in danger and you want to keep drilling? Get it done. The executive turns and walks towards his office, leaving the foreman shaking his head. He's insane. What the hell are we doing here? The drill. What's over down there? We shouldn't be disturbing it. Fisherman, you gotta help us. You won't listen to reason. But perhaps we'll listen to an operation setback. What do you have in mind, my friend? We can't shut down the drill ourselves. Not about repercussions for the corporates. The corporation following us for the rest of our lives. But if we were damaged by a force of nature or forces of the deep, we'd have no choice but to abandon our position. I know it sounds crazy, but if the defense were to stop operating suddenly and leave the drill vulnerable, please have a think and see what you can do about it. Defenses are operational and emitting a droning sound. You walk the perimeters of the tower. One of the electric panels hasn't been secured. Open it. You open the panel inside a bundle of cables traps black box of the height of the tower. Black box has a number of empty spots in it, which a model can be inserted to it. It's labeled flea and electronic tape. Considering this is her invention, perhaps the researcher would still have base would have some advice. Me. Yeah. Are you okay? The inevitable conclusion. Have you drank in that fluid? I told you not to drink it. He rocks back and forth, hands shaking, shuttering his eyes from the harsh light above. Our work. Almost complete. Closer. Pure devil's spine. Where are they? Okay, so volcanic, hadal, volcanic, and crab. So we have this. We need to get rid of the infused cooling line. Most of the projects we've been working on are rollouts of the corpse new fleets. It'll be cutting edge. You can uninstall this, throw it away, and put this in here. Build a crate that I want to go look up looking for right now. I have the materials with me. Oh, we can even get um, this stuff. That's nice. Oh wow, we can even put this in here. That is so useful. I love this thing. It's like an entire inventory just for that stuff. Factory. Knit. Here. I love that. Can we even put items in there? I still don't know who you are. I have theories and speculations, but they're most likely false. Um... 
Mine's well. We get a small operation bonus. Hmm. Factory. Uninstall. Build. Install. Hmm. Um, infuse fireproof rod. There we go, now I can install it. Coiling and infused fireproof, and we, yeah, we got all these except for this one, as we did not need it. Because it's Abyssal Hate on Oceanic, instead of just buying this, we bought this and that. Mm. Alright, now, what's tier 4 again? Yeah, bait. I'd like instant crab bait. Ah, I don't have any bait, that's right. <laughs> Under market. Mixed bait for $42. Quite pricey. It can only be sold back in five, too. Mm. Doesn't have too many fish in it. <laughs> Alright. So now all we need is rot and dark splashes. <laughs> and then for this one, we just need dark canister. <laughs> and for this aberrations, we need multiple <laughs> rocks. I'll just make this because I want to see what it looks like. And I, I do want to kind of use exotic bait. See exactly what it does. <laughs> As this strange new bait. Alright, leave. Alright, so we have to... So, is there multiple endings? That's the first question. Oh yeah, we're near Ocean's... Yeah, we're in Ocean's Deep. This rig is in Ocean's Deep. That's 100 meters to the floor. Well, 98. But anywhere between 90 and 100 is in Ocean's Deep. Pretty sure 300 feet is the maximum, which is 100 meters, meaning a meter turns into a foot. Meaning 5 meters... Wait, yeah, that's six meters, which six times three. Goodness gracious, it's 24 feet long. Okay, yeah, that's like five times the size of this boat. Not really. It's five times the size of a human. All right. Ah, messed up. I do also like how you don't exactly need to hit the green spots to get this done. Alright, one of the first Apex Predators, this bony plated giant crushers, even its prey. Its prey of the strongest jaws ever known to exist. It crushes its prey of the strongest jaws ever known to exist. I can't tell if this is something we need, or this is something old. No, this is new. Pure light are strung along its body. Pale light is strung along its body, shining through the deep. It's in the Abyssal Territory, which most things down there produce their own light, either as a way of attracting animals, or as light. Most of it's to just attract animals as prey. Alright, uh, how many fish do we need to catch here, and what are their names? Okay, so we have this shallow one, and a volcanic one we haven't yet, yet to caught, and we need to throw some crab pots in the water. And I'm gonna throw some bait as well. So this is aberration bait. A guaranteed aberration out of every single one of these. An aberration and a trophy. Now that's something you don't see every day. And look at that. We got an aberrated version of this. Association to the apex comes at a cost. Paid in scale. And skin. And this should be only... trophy fish. No, this is literally just legendary fish. So we got one legendary fish, which is some of the most expensive fish in the entire game. That bait pays for itself. At such a low cost, too. I could pay to have that stuff made. Literally, all I have to do is drive around here. Make that stuff myself. Jeez. Infinite money. These fish sell for $200 per. And we do this stuff here. It's filled with useless stuff, though. I'll throw down a few new ones. Uh, we should get back to Iron Rig and just deliver what we've already got. Right after I sell this fish. $272. This entire haul right here is worth $900. That's amazing. This fish right here is worth $595, because it's both a trophy 
and an aberration. I'm sorry, but I have to sell that. That thing's worth more than the ancient fish. Uh, fish markets. Just buy some of this. Throw away the dark splashes. I don't need them. I mean, yeah, they're useful because we can literally just build most of the stuff, but yeah, time to throw this stuff out into the deep, capture the fish. Actually, I should probably look at what depth it can be found at. 0 to 25 meters. Yeah, this is about 0 to 25 meters. Um, we should probably sleep before we head onwards. He'll take stale fish as long as it's not turned to rot. Needs to be daytime at least before I go. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to be taking on Devil's Spine and Twisted Strand, same video, because Twisted Strand, Strand is very small and once you want to maneuver around there, it's easy. Also, remember how the cultist died there? That was hilarious. He just steps into a fire and dies. I wonder what happens if we follow these fracture lines all the way. Where do they lead exactly? And is it of importance? What is the lore? This will definitely help. I've started rewriting the whole dredge scrap. I'm almost done with the minnows. I'm just rewriting down the whole story, explain that another video will be the theories. And look at that, another. Yeah. All we need is bolts of cloth, which, funny enough, is the thing I've always needed most in this game. Bolts of cloth. Hardest thing to find. Science lab. Closer. Alright, so this is just an inferno. Yeah, we're gonna sell. This is the dragonfish. This is that. And then we need the sea scorpion and that, which is really easy to get. Uh. Generator. Throw it in. Generator's always hungry. Any biomass to throw in. Yep. Yeah, we still do have to go do that. Uh, fleet services. I mean, we have a lot of this stuff. We could spare to throw some in, right? Yeah, here is real cheap. Make us a little bit faster. We can complete this one as well. Another light. And then the rest of it will be thrown here. We already have all the bolts of cloth we need, and yeah, that's everything. Alright, um, under market. I'm gonna need some sheeted metal, I know that for sure. So now that the air doesn't rain, we can put a single cloudy lens down. That's just lovely, wow. I mean, technically what we could do is do two cloudy lenses and a tungsten. Oh, actually, wait. Storage. Flame of the sky. Finally. It's all coming together now. Five thousand light. Not too much distance, but it's the brightest we can get. As this only has three thousand. We just added two thousand to this in total. I want to see how bright it is. So we're missing one volcanic fish. Yeah, so we don't go as far anymore, but it is brighter directly in front of us. That's technically the best thing I could figure out to put down there. Love how hitting that makes a bell sound. By the way, you should also hit the bell. Not literally, you might break your computer. But make sure to hit the bell and hit all notifications. That way you're notified every time I post a video. Although I do usually post two videos a day. Um, and so that's just useful to know when I exactly. Alright. And then actually, once I do this, I can actually just... Oh, I can't take it to the net from here, only from storage. If I put something in storage, I can throw it in the net if I still want to hold it. Interesting. Well, I can already tell where the um, volcanic thing I need is. It's through here. I have banished prepared. So, yeah, the it ends here. What you need here is a lot of speed. I'm not running the speediest setup anymore, but it might just be fast enough. Uh, by the way, this is one thing you need to go. You, need, you do need to go here. 
Let's do one of the whole, um... To get the Flame of the Sky, the best light in the game. Which is the, this two cloudy lenses, the Flame of the Sky, which is the best. It does not go as far, but it is brighter. Alright, there we go. We got a Sawfish. These sharks use their saws as a length, as a scythe through their prey. Any teeth lost are never replaced. That is actually a real thing. I have no clue where these fish are. Okay, they're not beneath me, and we do have a fire right there. They found me. A whole lot of them. Let me quickly just banish them and see if this is what we need. There we go, volcanic. There we go. Not much is known about this eyeless alien looking creature. The fossil records date it back to the Columbian period. Never heard of such a period. It must not be real. For the Cretaceous, which I don't believe in dinosaurs. Well, I do believe in dinosaurs, because I don't believe they look how they're supposed to look. I mean, you just found some bones near each other and you decided to throw them together in what looks like it makes sense. To make a dinosaur. I don't believe it. Sea scorpion. Capable of injecting its prey with venom, these giant scorpions are formidable predators of the sea floor. That's a three foot long scorpion. We have scorpions out here in St. George, Utah, but they're nowhere near that size. Oh, three feet long. It's crazy. Alright, that's all we need. Sawfish is the one fish we didn't need. Let's quickly rush towards this. Now, I, there might be two endings here. If we get them all the fish, something else might happen. If we do the thingy, something else might happen. Of course, every time an ending happens in the game, it resets it, except for the Pale Reach, which is always the same. Why does that look so strange? Over there. Looks like the fracture goes to land. But it is not. It's simply just the water. Yeah. I do wish that Max Panix actually had, like, a different effect than what it does. Because, yeah, sure, you get more monsters, which cause more panic, and it just doesn't go down as fast. But honestly, it's not that bad. The panic doesn't really matter too much because it goes down pretty fast as soon as it hits day. And if you have your lights on, you lose panic even faster. But using this does cause you panic. And the more heated up your engines are, the more panic it causes. Alright, final fish to the scientist. Submit samples. Now we actually don't need this. This and this. With shocking speed, he rushes towards the table, grabbing at the corpses. The shape bursts through the blackboard, barely resembles the scientist, no longer meek and cowardly, now frightening visions of stretched skin and sharp teeth. Look at his face! The sickening crunch, he bites down into the sea scorpion's carpus, black, dri black liquid dripping from his mouth. He term, his terrible head snaps back in long sides of yours. A fell cry rises from his lungs, forming an accusatory scream with fresh, fleshly bound claws point at your direction. With limbs overcome by frantic spasms, he stumbles towards the nearest window, slowly at first and riding at considerable speed. Okay. The raid form of the scientist crashes into the grass, di glass, diving out beyond the deck of the platform down, hitting the water to disappear into the deep. Oh. Is whatever you're here for really risk worth risking people's lives? My people, these are employees. What else? I don't have all day. Oh. What can I do for you? Really, I can't tell you that the the scientist jumped into the water and like, died. He's somewhere out in the deep now. Maybe he'll become an enemy. I doubt it. That would be interesting. Also, all these creatures like belong somewhere, but then the, the, this just comes out of nowhere, this manta ray. It's so slow that even the slowest ship speed gets it easily. Let's quickly head towards the other basin. Tell the researcher what happened. 
That was strange. So whatever that black liquid was, he must have drank it or something. I know he did say he touched it. So now my, my theory has changed. I did have a theory about the operated fish at first. But now it seems more likely that something completely different is happening. It would appear that whatever that liquid is has already been leaking from under there to the surface. Slowly but surely corrupting the fish and aberrating them. And whatever that thing is at the end of the game, a fleshless creature, is covered in it. It secretes from its eyes. It's a horrifying image. Interesting. This is what we needed to know. This, this helps us with the lore. That black liquid that rises from the deep. It's not oil, it's some mysterious goo. It's aberrating these fish. It all makes sense now. No new books though, how unfortunate. I was really hoping for another book. But no. Alright, researcher, we need your help. Hello, game, what do you need? Brother's defense device. Oh, I hope they worked well. Yes, they worked. Good. It's always nice to have an additional data points. Anything else? To the, those defenses? The workers on a rim. Uh, the workers on the rig want to find out a way to sabotage them. Found the conscious, have they? I suppose they wanting it to look like an accident. They wouldn't want. They wouldn't want to face corporate wrath if they were found. Hmm. I do have a pleasingly elegant idea, actually. Don't have to sabotage the defense in its traditional sense. If you recall, they made a sort of word in the moment the broadcasting warning flee. You can also change that. I have other recordings of other words. Instead of warning, could be broadcasting an invitation. This one in particular, I've been referring it to by the closest human. Analog. Rise. I prepare some blueprints for the moment. You have to assemble it on top of the rig in the black box. Anything else about those defenses? This seems like a terrible idea. We're asking the creature to rise from the deep and consume the rig. Everyone is going to die. First the scientists and the rest. They're all dead. I'll just use manifest to get there faster. But I still wish there was other um, abilities. Because you get no abilities from completing um, Devil's Spine. However, you do get an ability from everything else other than the Pale Reach and Devil's Spine. Pill Reach is really useful for ice, in case you want to go hunting for fish all day long, two days straight, without them spoiling. Of course, you need big ice cubes surrounded by small ice cubes. You won't be able to fit as many fish, but fully upgraded doesn't really matter. Yeah, the, the brighter the light is, it seems it's better to have this slightly brighter light. Yeah, this seems like an awful idea, but, um... Can't we just turn it off, and then the, 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 the monster will come back, and then, you know, like, it'll damage the drill? Do we, do we really have to call it from the deep, an invitation, asking it to rise? From 100 meters beneath the ocean to attack us? It doesn't really seem like a good idea. Am I the only one using logic here? I mean, I always said I was a genius, but I didn't really think other people were this stupid. Alright. Let's do this at midnight. The defenses are operational, committing and running sound, blah blah blah. Find the loose panel, have the electric gold guts of the tower. You pull out the blueprint for the rise module. Which is one iron haven crate and one dark canister. You move the old module and insert the new one. As it clicks into place, the sound from the tower changes into a deep rumble. I don't think this is a good idea. We're asking it to rise from the deep. This isn't going to sabotage the drill. This is going to destroy it. This is going to destroy the entire base. Not the base, and the rig. It's going to be pulled under. Oh, but the Leviathan came here to save the day. The saving grace. The only good creature here that wants to stop evil Leviathan trapping it in these waters. Saving this rig from collapsing. And there goes the executive, most likely, fleeing. Also, that causes us extreme panic. With the last of scraps of metal still firmly falling from the destroyed trail, the executive boards his helicopter. Rotor's already spinning. Uh, is everybody alright? All accounted for in the factory. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, foundry's fine. 
Guess we'll wait for our airlifts out of here. There's no way I'm traveling anywhere by boat. Yeah, I'll sit tight for now. Fisherman, the main buildings are still most undamaged. You need stuff made to sort you out. Override the Drake's defense. The, the rig's defense. Now, I'm guessing that's the end of the game. And we'll just get no explanation for any of this stuff, huh? If so, then, yeah. We don't get any explanation for any of this stuff. Alright. For anticlimactic endings, again, this <laughs> DLC is losing a lot of points. In my book, you're losing so many points. Maybe surprised there even is a book. It's supposed to spoil, but... Uh, we don't even need anything here. It's really just fleet services, which we can't even upgrade. Which, unfortunately, now we have too many bolts of cloth and not enough metal scraps. But I will have to say, something really annoying here is that that was another anticlimactic ending. The scientist just jumps into the ocean. No explanation of what happened. We can't go investigate his lab. And then the whole Iron Haven story just ends. Come on. Anticlimactic ending last time, anticlimactic ending this time. Seriously. Well, then I guess next time we're going to be going back through this DLC, which again, disappointing ending as always. You think they know what they're doing, but no, no, no. Again, anticlimactic. What happens to the scientist? Is he on some island somewhere? I don't know. I'm going to go look it up. Maybe he's on some island somewhere, and I'm harshly judging it, even though I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I do. Nothing from cargo I want, and... Oh, you want to talk to the foreman. Uh. Still nothing, huh? Uh. Hmm. But still, I still think that this guy is actually the one who's <laughs> underneath the rig. Alright. Well, uh, let's build a box first. That's one piece, we just need a few more, and we'll start infinitely printing boxes. But yeah, that's gonna do it. We need three boxes in total, and then we'll start infinitely- Oh, there's three boxes, like, right over here. But yeah, that's gonna do it, um... We're just gonna infinitely print boxes, it's a bit anticlimactic. I really do hope something else will happen, but I doubt it will. Leviathan just saved us, saved the day. But that's it. I'm a bit disappointed now. I was expecting something cool to happen. It was cool for the moment. The scientist jumped out the window. And other things happened. But honestly, a small bit of a disappointment. Also, the game did say 50 new fish. It's also counting aberrations. And we got about, like, what? 25 new fish? And 25 aberrations. Because each area we went to, we got 4 fish. And then up to 5, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There's 5 new fish in each area. Times that by two, because the aberrations each have one aberration. There's one crab in each area. Yeah, 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 Fifty, yeah. I mean, we've already caught most of the fish. What am I doing here? Oh, that's right. Foundry. Tear it apart for wood. Tear it apart for metal. I don't feel too bad about them um, not exactly playing this game exactly how it should be played. And cheating and copying everything. Because now for just a small portion of my money of $10, it can craft a new crate out of half the materials of another crate. Although slightly boring, it it's interesting. Now, oh, one crate can be turned into multiple. This guy's bad at business. And we actually need to scrap another crate here, because we only have two of these. I mean, I can make one crate, then I have to scrap another crate. Oh well. So let's see, we have crate here, and then we can build one more crate exactly before we need to start scrapping. Oh, we're out of the other stuff, but we still do have two crates. Um, can I not do math? 
It's made out of one of these. I mean, I can make three of each. And then two specifically from the coils. I know I'm doing the math right, yeah. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's just build another one of these. Because, strangely enough, right now I only have one. That can't be right. No, it appears this is structured correctly. I think I cannot print infinite boxes. I can make one box into two, but I cannot make two boxes into three. Because, look, we make a box. And then we make another box. And now we've used up all the materials of one box. Meanwhile, I have to scrap another box. And then another box, and then another box. It sort of works. You can scrap one box and turn it into two. But if you try to duplicate it at a large scale, then it becomes confusing. I think you can do it, but it's a bit difficult. But yeah, it's gonna do it. Why am I building boxes? I don't know. What I should be doing is instead of building these boxes, as I no longer really need them, go to the foundry and have all the boxes deconstructed for what I need. What do I need here? Metal. I think I have this metal already. Now, let me go shred these boxes. Alright, so shred the box, turn it into metal. And, uh, real quick, let me go to my storage and just throw in a generator. There you go. Pure their engine. It's tuned in a very strange way. Alright, and fleet services go over here. We still have one meta left over from this. Expanding the hall, four extra spaces. And now we get a new hall, which is just two crates. And $2,500. That's chump change. G5 hall unlocked. Alright, that's 11 new spaces of my vessel. Man, this thing's huge. I love it. Let's take a look at our new boats. How does it look? Absolutely amazing. It's real, has that real industrial look now. I love it. But yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me at Rumble. I know I've said that like five times now. But that's the end of the video. Next video we do of this, we're gonna be catching all the aberrations as we've done everything else. Then I'll look up if there's anything else in this DLC, anything hidden, which I doubt. Actually, every uh, the other DLC had a cultist. Maybe now that the scientists jump out a window, he's somewhere, we can bring him fish like one of those cultists, and they'll throw some research at us. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Who knows? I don't. But real quick, I want to go sail over to Stellar Basin and ask See if we can ask our scientist friend anything. See if she knows anything. But yeah, the DLC's ending was a bit disappointing, but the gameplay was not. The story was really exciting and really, uh... I was really hooked on the DLC, but then the, the ending was just so disappointing. I was like, really? That's it? That, that, that's it. Like, the ending of the game was so not anticlimactic. This was such a climactic ending. And I wanted the same for the DLCs, but neither of the DLCs have supplied us with a climactic, good ending. These DLCs have supplied us with garbage endings. Alright. And yeah, only one new enemy who barely appears really easy to dodge. He has the Kraken, and then, he's, then, you, then you know he's there, you just dodge him, he's only there for three regions. Starts with Stellar Basin, and that's it. And those thingies that jump on you, they just give you Dark Ooze, which is doesn't really matter. You can throw it away really easily, and... I don't know. This is definitely better than the last DLC, but I do definitely have things that I don't like about it. Yep, yeah, say it again. Logan, we need nothing. Alright. Well, how disappointing. How disappointing indeed. Absolutely nothing left.
weeks of an aurora borealis. Where would the cultist be if there was a cultist? I wonder. It's not exactly a new area. And if we did have to give him something, he'd probably want every single of the aberrated fish. 